What's up? Today we're going to be checking out the Greer Amplification Royal Velvet Class A British Drive and Pre. Let's get into it. All right, so we are in here getting ready to test out the Greer Amplification Royal Velvet Class A British Drive and Pre. And um, we're having a little gold rush today. This is a, I uh, can't remember what the line, it's a 54 reissue Strat. Um, well worn. I've had this guitar for a long, long time. And I believe it's an early 90s 54 reissue, vintage reissue, whatever they called them. In gold, Aztec gold, I believe it is. Thought it was shoreline gold for a long time, but it's not. Aztec gold. Also, Gold Top Les Paul. This is a early 2000s. Uh, custom shop historic reissue R7 killer guitar. The uh, Strat has Lawler dirty black face pickups in it. The Les Paul has uh, Peter Florence, RIP Peter Florence uh, pickups. They are 61, uh, a 61 reissue. They're actually wound for my SG and ended up just liking the uh, the classic 57s that are in the SG and had this set of pickups and I got this Les Paul, took the burst buckers out, put those in and it just, it's a uh, machine, man. I love that. Love that Les Paul. But so this is how the amp were plugged into my uh, Sir Badger 18, which is an EL84 amp. So the, the thing about this uh, pedal is that it gives you kind of that chimey, uh, Vox AC30, I believe Nick Greer said it was kind of modeled after a 64 AC30 and uh, definitely gives you that chimey thing. So we'll take a listen to the before. <laughs> That's plugged straight in, no uh, verb, no nothing, just the tone from the amp, and it sounds pretty good. Let's uh, take a listen, I'm gonna go engage the pedal, and we'll see what it sounds like then. All right, starting out, pedal engaged, got the volume around one o'clock, and I find that with this pedal, that kind of makeup volume with the pedal in general goes a long way. We got the gain set uh, right around 10 o'clock and um, the tone is right at noon, so dead in the middle. I think you can hear how that sounds. It already sounds chimer. On the bridge pickup too, in case you're wondering. Or in case you can't see it. It definitely gives you that spanky twangy thing that you, with the single coils that you want out of uh, out of an AC30. I definitely like the uh, the way it opens that amp up. Let me find a guitar pick. One thing that I really love the smackiness of an AC30 playing kind of riffy stuff like this chord riffs that. <laughs>
push down and pedal. You can do a lot with this. One thing I want to try real quick, let's put this EP booster, Exotic Effects EP booster on it. It's just going to be, it doesn't have, the EP booster doesn't have a ton of color. It's just got a little girth that it'll add to your tone. Where's the beef? on the neck pickup. Roll off the volume a little bit. One thing about this guitar, I do have uh, a treble bleed cap on it. And uh, it really helps when you're rolling off the volume to keep the highs still in it. I've had that problem with a lot of strats. If you're having an issue with your Stratocaster where you're losing all the top end as you roll off the volume on it, you should explore a treble bleed. It makes a lot of difference. So we'll go here. That is... Uh, you know, probably volume on three. Listen to how much of the highs still come through there. Loving this pedal. And, and in all fairness, I haven't used this pedal a lot. It was given to me by Nick Greer. Well, there's the thing about this pedal. And for those of you who have been following the channel, you probably have picked up on it already. Because the pedal's called, well, it's called Royal Velvet. And I would imagine that the inspiration for the name of that pedal came from somewhere. It wasn't born out of thin air. And Nick Greer is a friend of mine. He used to live here in Athens, Georgia with me. Or not with me, but in the town. And very familiar with the band that I play in, that I named. That's my band. That's called The Royal Velvet. So before Nick uh, ripped out of town and moved to Portland, he called me and told me he had a gift for me. And he gave me one of these killer pedals. So I've just recently started uh, dialing into it. Man, I really am digging this pedal. If you're looking for some chime, something you can plug in, really could front end as a preamp, it is a good one. <laughs> Let's see if we can boost up the gain on this a little bit and just let this thing eat.
that's what you're going to get out of the single coils out of this. And obviously it's going to vary depending on what kind of guitar or kind of pickups you're playing, but you get the idea of what you can get out of this pedal if you're looking for that AC30 sound. All right, let's uh, swap guitars. So we got the Les Paul. Let's see what we sound like. Plug straight in. Good, good warm tone. like once we turn this pedal on all right so now we got les paul and we've got the uh royal velvet the gains rolled back to kind of where it was around nine ten o'clock Sounds good. Let's run through, through some of those same kind of rhythm riffs we were playing. Royal Velvet, Class A British Drive and Pre. Killer pedal. Uh, definitely worth the money. And let me just say a little bit about Greer Amplification. A small company that makes small batch handmade uh, effects pedals and amplifiers. Doing some really innovative stuff. Nick is a... Uh, Man, just a super talented, super sweet guy who is committed to the evolution of the uh, of the stomp box and is constantly blowing me away with his new creation. So check out Greer Amplification. Definitely go check out and test out the uh, Royal Velvet Class A British Drive and Pre. You will not be sorry that you did. Such a killer pedal. All right, that's going to be our video for today. I'm Justin Brogdon. Until next time, you guys keep being good to each other. Keep doubling down, and we're going to be seeing you very soon. Get your shred on. It's past time, and you deserve it. Cheers.